and Morphling. I think they needed to pick two spell costs that could kind of spam out the Undying to let Visage lane. Never mind, he literally gets He's instantly dove and killed. definitely getting dove in that <laughs> situation. <laughs> Tombstone drop down. That is going to be your first blood. Meanwhile, mid lane matchup. Nothing to say. Stays alive and planet. Not going to be able to collect. The Fisher uh, block was nice. Worst case scenario on both ends of that row. You don't get this mid kill. Yeah. And Shaker missed the XP bottom while the Visage was dead. Not a good sequence for LGD at all. At least the safe lane seems to be going pretty well as the double range shields combine for a cheeky little pick off with the blood grenade. Yep, top CS as well, 23 and 1 for the Dusa. So, we're not surprising if that's the case considering they have the Beastmaster to clear through it. Sniper pretty decent at doing those as well. And here is the Tombstone flank. Slowing down Shiro, throwing him back into it and burst him down. Now, the Fisher did come in and get a counter kill, but it's support for Core, particularly a carry dying for a PSG LGD. Gaming Gladiators continue to. Get the better of PSG LGD, despite the fact, though, the net worth is very even. Behind in levels are Storaccio, so every time these mid skirmishes are happening, the side lane for LGD is not going that well. Oh god, the illusions are gonna stop his TP back. Nothing to say. He's in trouble. The assassinate keeps on being put on him. He's gonna have to dodge it somehow. It's out of mana. Yeah, he's dead. He is dead, dead, dead. At least he took it like a man. Yeah, he ran charging at his enemy. And they're pushing in towers. I mean, they did a bunch of damage to mid tower. Now, Duraccio and Celery are coupling together to zone out new, but they have extended pretty far here. Have they gone Blank too far? There. Four heroes all of a sudden. Oh, got him. He could not more strength fast enough. Invis NTS paying off. Biggest kill on the map they could get. Surprises Duraccio. Might be able to limit the damage enough that it's fine. I actually circle back all the way around there. Now they're going to go for the dive on a Shiro. What they may not realize is how many heroes are here. That double damage starts going to work already. Ace and Celery a little bit low. Crimson Guard plus the Prabble Roar. Oh, nice. Fisher. Fisher. Three man Fisher. And the, the first on to three as well. It's a beauty. LGD. LGD just too good at the team fighting. Even then, the fight was difficult to win, I would say. They only got a two for two trade off. It's a nice word for LGD. They are going to get an opening. Lots of heals. God damn. Mech and the Crimson Guard. Stellar doesn't even die. Okay, now they could de ward that high ground. They know 100% of wards there. Oh, they still get the opening. Primal Roar. Boy, that was a little embarrassing for PSG LGD. They thought they had a free jump, free kill. Goes the other way. I don't want all of these at some point, but which order you build them is very important here, especially when you're playing into the Aegises, which gaming have. Another roar goes out on another support. Another roar, another kill. Ace is just walking into a man. The Hitman strikes again. No. No, indeed. Is this going to be a short novel of a game for LGD? Or can they start to find some pickoffs? That's a massive one right there. Another part of this game that really hurts LGD's late game chances. Popped. Nothing to say. Now he's the one up a bit too far. Both mid laners getting caught. And AC is done. On the bird as LGD smoke up to try and contest this rush run. They're going to fight Dorachio on the river. Are they going to be what able to kill hell? him, though? Why is he here? Waveform. This is a Duraccio death. seconds. He can't burn his mana fast enough. They got the chains on him. Oh, it is enough. Oh. So he chose his item, and then he threw it back. And I was like, what is he doing? Is yeah, even a little extra attack speed is nice from here against the Morphling Axe. Mew is... What are you doing up there, Mew? Uh... Yeah, he's very far up alone. I guess he got the tier two, but he got denied. He lost his birds. Because you have to keep the formation with protecting the sniper, letting the Morphling find the target, but the second LG kill one support, it opens up the flanks and suddenly... Jumping in for more, nothing to say. Braving the Primal Roar, which doesn't come out until now. Ace is tanky, but there's too many heroes in the nicely positioned from the Dusa as well. Pups and Stone Gaze between the Beastmaster and the Sniper, but they couldn't do enough. Nothing to say, now low. New's gonna be left behind, it seems. Turns into the stone form. But he comes back in. Yo, guys, we're fighting this, right? We're fighting this, guys, right? <laughs> no, I don't know. <laughs>
I don't think LG definitely did not feel confident fighting out without resources on NTS. I feel like he's too much of their damage. Oh, Tofu, you went a little too far, my friend. Gotta respect the chain stuns from the Earthshaker and the turnaround potential. He's got a shield rune. So even if they find him here, Spots. Oh, Telekinesis Primal War. A little bit of an overlap here, but too much damage. The shield rune could not protect him against that kind of fire firepower. But LGD are happy with this trade that they can commit and get it. Shrapnel reveals it at half L. Shiro gonna be in trouble here. Primal Roar gonna be used against him. Celery up here on the high off. Well, turning into the Earthshaker and getting a good fissure to block out Shiro. He's just not getting any damage done. He blinks over the side. Plan is gonna be the target here. Dorachio tries to catch him, but a blink away. Managed to get him out, and he misses his life too. Alive. You need help. Jump forward. Dorachio does going to hit the two-man echo slam, but finally he falls. Shiro is struggling to be able to keep with these heroes at the same time. Finally pops the stone gaze, but it's gonna be used as a retreat just can't hit anything he's getting stunned for so long in these fights gainer is able to wear through the medusa and now rose can fall he's back in oh, he get it? take it but no the ages is snatched up by no, quinn no, and he turns around now with the manta oh actually they can kill quinn once nothing to say sticks onto Durachio is out of mana as well he's they're running out of resources spot. oh quinn he's gonna die a second time and the he's team can't really help him out that's not enough Shiro out of mana, Shiro though. Shiro out of mana, but he gets a Mystic Sink back into play. He gets a little bit more mana. The White Smile's gonna start healing him up, healing him up, healing him up. He's good. And now, Telekinesis to get Tarachio out of there. Primal Roar, too. But the Earthshaker is gonna jump in. Hits the Fisher on the two. Don't think they know about Tofu, but they catch one. This comes down if they get on top of the Sniper. Like, that engagement, once they're on top of him, he just melts. That is not a man fight Quinn is winning. He does not have Satanic. Does not have extra displacement. He's Rock goes out, but Shiro is all alone. And then he got nullified. He jumps in and helps him out. The telekinesis only going to take him so far. Enough to say we'll finish him off. Now with the BKB, the Echo Slam. Double really Echo. Used. Double Echo with the Fisher, but Duraggio had that cap, and he was able to get off his BKB as a result. A great neutral item pickup. But Might Shiro is in. But Shiro is mowing down Quinn and the rest of Game and Gladiators. Oh, this late game is heating up for LGD. First, the Beastmaster initiations. LGD getting that objective at last. Roar on the Pugna, but where's the damage follow-up? Like yeah. Nullifier, but nothing to say. He's right in the mix. Gleipnir on to two. Quinn's forced to be able to use the Hurricane Pike to be able to get away from this Ember Spear. It will finish off Tofu, but the Stone Gaze, He's it locked down Quinn. Quinn didn't see that one coming. Shiro does almost kill him, but the Silver Edge allows Quinn to be able to get away. Constant Vision Prom's going to be a bound, but the two managed to find the Beastmaster before he could TP away. Meanwhile, Rax in trouble to Raccio. With these heroes dead. Okay, mission, though. Careful. No fire on him. Trying to crawl away. Shiro's gonna keep him slow. These constant snake stuns are a problem too. Fisher's stun. He's dead. Oh no. Now they're into a real desperate buyback scenario. And do you have enough to repel LGD? It's gonna force all your buybacks here, and it might take more. Sniper high ground defense, nothing to scoff at. But Quinn has not been able to maintain the gaps in these fights. They're just getting on top of him and slaying him. And the gap is a whole lot right on You're right next to your fountain, unless nothing to say. He can stop you right here with a nullifier. Put him in the tombstone. Got him in the tombstone just in time. But the base, the throne, the base is in trouble. The Divine Ranger is gone. too much. They can't stop him, and Shiro will end it. There was no high ground defense once Shiro was on the high ground. Does not care about the heroes. CS and buildings is all I need to end this game.